Alright, we're running. I mean, we'll just see, yeah. see how it goes. It's, it's different, that's for sure. It's different being in here. I mean, I'm violating my own no screen policy. Oh wow, dude! Yep, there's a computer in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly like it. I mean, I, it's funny how wrong it feels. The mess of wires bothers me yeah. even more. But. Yeah. See, I tucked mine under the chair, and it's still. I mean, I got it. somebody's gonna. Yeah. It actually it looks like something technological is being done. I'm gonna get that all the time. Oh, that's fine. I, no, I thought I heard a, a critical stop noise, but I think I'm hearing things. I think it was your chair squeaking. Yeah, everything's smooth. It's just that. It's just that discom. I wish, because you know the old board. It's got to cut off. It's got a filter. Frequency filter. But I'm sure you'll be able to find one in Reaper too. JS has got it. JS. JS. Uh, I can't remember what the guy, I think Jason something, but he's one of the Reaper developers. Oh, okay. He's the one who uh, programs all, or most of the effects. Like when you go into the effects tab and look, there's a whole folder of JS. Oh, okay. And, and, and that's, yeah. that's one of the guys. That's one of the Reaper guys who, yeah. who we all have to thank. I have to thank. Yeah. Reaper.fm. There you go. Free plug. I mailed him a check once. And they didn't. And they never they didn't do it. anything with it. Um. Just out of appreciation for real software engineers, real. Great. I, I mean, I suppose they gotta have day jobs, but. Yeah, but they get the they get the understanding that once it's done, it's done. You did it. It's made. You, you don't... I don't like this precedent that's been set. Good God almighty. Wow. And you see it? Do you see the hair content of this? Here, turn on the big light. Turn on the spotlight. Spotlight it. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. <clears throat> HKMT. Um, apparently it's related to the D's. My favorite in the whole world is the diesel. But, um, it's, I love it. It's another one. That you will not find on Leafly, apparently. Uh, not yet. Um, I found Bruce Banner on there. And it's, uh, it's very good. It's a hybrid. It, uh, the effects are happy, euphoric, creative. Yeah, there's another endorsement for you, Leafly. Or leaf fly. I, I don't know which way is the proper uh, pronunciation, but leafly and reaper. Yeah, I don't need leafly to live as much as reaper, but it's a it's a pretty good reading. <laughs> it, yeah, I it's, mean, it's just a nice resource. I don't know. Have you ever found one that was rated poorly? Uh yes. What was what was it? Do you remember? I don't remember. Uh -huh. Um. Poorly by comparison, not so much. See, that's kind of what I think too. It's but, just like, ah, oh, sorry, dude. I should have given you the green on that one. I'll let you get the next one. It's got 
guy, kind of. Very jungly, very. It's, <coughs> it's, it's got a lot of. A lot of, it's wow. just a lot of presence to me. I, I don't know. Tremendous presence. I, I don't know what kind of taste it is, but. Whoa. Incredible. I want to call it fruity. But no, it's. It's like wild plants. Like. Yeah, that dude, like, sound good. like like biting into a big succulent stalk of something that's got a little bit of pepper on it. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Aftershocks. Oh. My goodness. That is uh, dude, I got superb. it. Superb. I got into it this morning and that's when I emailed you. I was like, let's do something. Let's do something, because that's what it made me want to do. I mean... Oh, I felt so much better. It's just like... I mean, and for all the wires and shit, it's just like, now that it's done, it's cool. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Let's, let's do something. Yeah. Let's do something. Oh, I, I, I needed this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to Age of the Shrug. Well, <laughs> You're hanging out with us today. Uh, we hung out yesterday, which... Dude, I can't remember the last time we tried to hang out two days in a row. It's uh, it, it's danger zone shit. Well, here's the deal. We need to hang out. Just hang out yeah. on occasion. And sometimes it's like we... we it eats into the other time. It's well, like, no. They're both important. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like there's only so much time in one session and... And, it's, and, and there's generally got to be grease applied to the wheels first. Right, and you don't you don't think or want to say, ah, we should just have a hangout day yeah. and see what happens yeah. instead of. Uh, yeah, sometimes the sometimes the conversation is good, and sometimes it's like, let's do something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's find something. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm pushing. But dude, we've only beat the drum together once. once. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking the. Looking to change that. Look out. Look out. Uh, coming your way. This shit is crazy. Uh, Holy shit. Yeah, That's it's, a crazy buzz. It's, it's my first day on it, you know what I'm saying. So It's, like, uh, it's certainly mine. Uh, but yeah, you remember yesterday we were talking about recent reading material and research. And I don't want to talk about any of it today because... Because yeah, I well no, I don't. I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, man. Like nah. we got, I got October, November, and December to be real fucking secretive about shit. Yep. And then, and then the emperor has no clothes. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. It's time for that again. Uh, In 2017. You know, look out! <laughs> look out! Because uh, it's, you know. It's it's been a grueling year for people, and that's when, that's the time to come in with, the good times, and say, hey everybody, remember, there's supposed to be good times, not just this. Whatever you want to call it. What's your stance on uh, WKRP in Cincinnati? <laughs> I worship it. <laughs> that's I was I always thought that was a good show, man. I. Worship. I, okay, hang on a second. Where? What about Wings? Did you like Wings? The show? Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, cool, man. Felt like Wings was on the brink of loved getting it. some well deserved recognition. Like, oh, man. For a while. I think they brought it back in the syndication for a minute. Are you crying? No. It looks like you've got my eyes a are... tear in your eye. Man. Yeah, my eyes are definitely moist. <laughs> yes, that's for sure. Wings. <laughs> Uh, was very, you talk about therapeutic, it was just therapeutic for me in the 90s. I, I would just watch it and it, the, the brotherness, the brotherliness between uh, Tim Daly and Steven Weber was really enjoyable. Uh, the airport was enjoyable. I uh, see, and that's, boy. maybe that's what it was. I love the airport as a setting. Yes. Then, like, it was like another Cheers, but not Cheers, you know? Yeah, like it, yeah. It, it had a different feeling, and 
and you had, you know, Roy, and I can't remember the woman's name, the older woman, but, yeah, I, I, well, and then, of course, there's Crystal Bernard, um, one of the only times you'd hear a woman with a southern accent on television was Crystal Bernard. If it wasn't Delta Burke. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah. Uh, and of course, yeah, the I Golden mean, Girls. It was designing. Did they have Southern accents? I thought they were Actually, some other kind of regional. I don't think any of the Golden Girls did it. No, uh, Rue McClanahan did. Was she the eldest? Mm-mm. The eldest was Estelle. Oh, that's right. Blanche. Yes, Blanche, Blanche did. Yeah. The most fuckable out of the, the Golden <laughs> Girls. For sure. I don't know, man. B. Arthur had it. I uh... B. Arthur, I think, would uh, make you uh, make you hate it. <laughs> I'm kind of into that, though. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. She'd, she'd be like, "All right, we're doing this." <laughs> yeah. Ex- exactly. <laughs> Put your I mean. clothes off. Get over there, and it's like, "Oh man, Maud is about to fucking yeah. about to be mauled by Maud." Yeah. Something about B. Arthur. I mean, I think something. As a man, I've looked at each Golden Girl. You know. <laughs> Because, of course... I mean, I, fortunately, I was watching them before I was thinking about that shit. I oh, yeah. Well, it's a funny show. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, it's, I mean, I enjoyed it it's on its funny. face. Yeah. Um, it'll it'll, oh, yeah. it'll be, tug at the heartstrings. Uh, be Arthur, yeah. She would make you cookies after, and that yeah. would be swell. Yeah. That may be the best part of it, though. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what just happened. And she'd be like, Steve, don't worry. You smell the cookies? It's okay, sweetie. <laughs> There's cookies baking. Um... Yeah. You'll have nightmares forever. B. Arthur, you know, when she was Maud, she had an abortion. Was she Maud? Oh, yeah. Of Harold and Maud? Or? No, 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 no. That was Ruth Gordon. Oh, okay. That's See, that's Ruth. why I was being, that's why I was confused. I, I uh, Maud was a, a, a which well show used this? name for which, a while. Which, which show was this reference? Which? Maud. It was a TV show. Yeah, it was a spinoff from All in the Family. Okay. B. Arthur used to be on All in the oh, Family as a friend of Edith's that was used to drive Archie up the wall. Yeah, Edith's voice drives me up the wall. It's man. meant to. Uh, it's it's into, I, I tell wow. you straight up, like growing up near mm. Flatbush, New York, and having you know grandparents there, it's it's exact. That is the voice. There there were so many older women who spoke like Edith Bunker. It's just oh, Lord. I don't know, there's a certain female voice characteristic. I, it's not the vocal fry. It's not anything like that. But there's it's like whenever I'm flipping channels and see the view, I know immediately to change the channel because women are speaking in a register. Yes. That I'm just not comfortable with. The hen register. And it's when uh, they hen. Uh, I I am. Very much uh, averse to hens, female, uh, I'm talking women, who act like hens. It's really Hmm. not appealing to me in any regard. Like, I don't even like to see it in comedy, you know, like a a joke on it or something. And the view is, there's, look, this is not a popular opinion, but screw it. Uh, Women aren't on the radio because not everybody wants to hear women talking. Yeah. Because it becomes like a, and it's not. I'll tell you the only easy. thing that I find more annoying than the than the than what you call the hen register is the whispering vocal man. The whispering vocal is just like every contemporary female pop song. Some, I mean, some women have a nice smoky voice, you know, yeah. a nice raspy voice, a, a normal speaking volume. That's what used to appeal on the radio, was a woman who would speak in a way... It's even referenced in John Carpenter's The Fog, where Adrienne Barbeau is a radio woman personality and a uh, you know, radio voice, and she does the voice. Uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, play Misty for me. Damn it, I fucking did it again. Ah. 